PDP chairmanship, unending romance with military bigwigs. Leading aspirants in the race to the People's Democratic Party, PDP. National chairmanship have demonstrated a common belief amongst political analysts that indeed, politics in the land still revolves round the cult personalities of retired military generals. With the only exception of Chief Bo George, leading chairmanship aspirants had at one time or the other time in the past two weeks, visited the trio of generals of Eskano Basinjo. Ibrahim Babangida and Abdul Salami Abubakar in search for their respective blessings and endorsements. General Abdul Salami Abubakar, Red, General Ibrahim Babangida and Chief Alaskan Obasanjo. Out of the three, only Babangida, passes for a founding member of the PDP as neither Obasanjo nor Abdul Salami played prominent role in the formation of the party in 1998. General Babangida, who presided over the transition program that culminated in the annulment of the June 12 presidential election believed by many to have been won by late business mogul, Masud Kashimuolawaiola, teamed up with pro-democracy forces to form the G34 that later morphed into the PDP. He is believed to have supported the party in its embryonic stage. In 2007, he declared interest to run as a civilian president but lost out in the race principally to Obas and Joe's opposition whose preference, Amaru Musa Yirajima would go on to win the presidential election. Given his failure to bounce back to political reckoning, Babangida announced his retirement from active politics and announced his readiness to play the statesman in the affairs of the nation. As for Obasanjo, his taming by a crop of young politicians whom he earlier helped into national reckoning culminated in his resignation of membership of the PDP and ultimately from active politics, few years ago. Focal point of reference. However, in spite of their passive roles in the determination of who gets what, when and how, the big generals remain the focal point of reference for all but a few aspirants gunning to replace Senator Ahmed McCarthy in the December convention. It all started when Exogun state governor, Atun Bagben Gadaniel, smartly outdid his rivals by heading straight to Mina, the Niger state capital, to kickstart his chairmanship campaign. At the hilltop presidents of Babangida, Daniel made it known to him that his endorsement and blessing would go a long way in the determination of who gets the nod of the party's delegates at the convention. Not one to let such an opportunity elude him, the former military president wasted no time in giving his guest what he craved by describing him as a breath of fresh air and my incoming chairman. With the news yet to settle, Tund Adniran, a professor of political science and former Minister of Education followed suit with a visit to Babangida for the same mission. Perhaps, the aspirant with the biggest entourage so far has been Dr. Raymond Dokpezi, the media mogul who is also in the race for the chairmanship of the party. Doc Pezzi visited both Babangida and Abdul Salami and reiterated his interest in the crowded race for the plum seat. But Abdul Salami, the retired general loved so much for relinquishing of power to an elected civilian government, gave Doc Pezzi a simple message to take home, the P2P has failed in its opposition role as a political party. Whatever informed this position is however left in the imagination of analysts as it were, as he, Abdul Salami, is not a known card-carrying member of the PDP. Not left out of the race is Professor Tawi Day Doja who penultimate week visited Babangida and Abdul Salami and followed it up with a visit to Obasanjo at his Abiyakadis residence. 
Is this a confirmation of the assumptions in some quarters that politics in the land is yet to evolve? Is it true after all that though they may have bowed out of power but men of yesteryears are still the sole determinants of the goings on in the polity? Elsewhere, the ruling All Progressives Congress APC, looked in the direction of another retired general to fly and stick it in the 2015 general elections. Today, the party has not hidden its preference for the same man to seek a fresh four-year tenure come 2019, thus lending credence to the belief that the military remain the determinant of the collective destiny of Nigeria even in the post-military era.